Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do we daily discuss your MCQs from current affairs perspective. So today is 11 October so let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is triple billion target seen in news is related to A population control, B WHO target, C economic growth, D none of the above. So friends uh, uh, the answer here is no point of saying uh, that uh, it, it seems to be B because obviously it is shown on your screen the answer is B. So uh, it is basically triple billion target is an initiative of a uh, world health organization uh, in which uh, it uh, aims to improve health outcomes uh, in uh, of uh, 1 billion each in different uh, aspects so uh, recently the who india country cooperation strategy 2019-23 was released so overview is that is basically it is a strategy that uh, that is uh, that uh, uh, that uh, this uh, uh, that, that that is adopted by who 13 general program of work and its triple billion targets the sustainable development goals and the who southeast asia regions eight flagship priorities so it is one of the uh, first that fully aligns itself with this newly adopted uh, triple billion target so it captures the work of the united nations uh, sustainable development and uh, it, uh, it 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 builds upon the strategic uh, various documents like national health policy and then various initiatives like ushman bharat national viral hepatitis program so what is country cooperation strategy so it is basically strategy of the who to to uh, to co uh, to jointly operate with the india to meet its various health goals health, health sector goals so that to help india to improve on these uh, indicators and improve the health of its population and bringing in transformative changes in the health sector so it upon, builds upon the work that who has been carrying out in the last several years so the in addition it identifies current and emerging health needs for example non communicable diseases antimicrobial resistance and then air pollution so four areas that have been identified for uh, strategic cooperation of who with the country encompasses your uh, promotion of universal health coverage so so and then uh, to target uh, uh, to address uh, these to promote health and wellness by by addressing determinants of health so determinants of health are for example uh, uh, the uh, the water safe water uh, access to safe water is a determinant of health health and then uh, you are uh, uh, sanitation is a determination determinant to health and then your uh, uh, different things are determinants of health so to protect the population better against health emergencies and to enhance india's global leadership in health so WHO triple billion targets are these are the basically it is a strategic plan for the next five years uh, and it is basically WHO plan for next five years uh, and it aims to uh, cover one more one billion more people to be benefited from universal health coverage and then one billion more people to be protected from health emergencies and one more uh, one billion pe more people to be co uh, covered for better health and well-being. Now let's move on to the second question. Second question is consider the following statements related to Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship, Fellowship Program. First it is it is designed under Pradhan Mantri uh, Koshal Vikas Yojana. Second is it is implemented by Ministry of Skill Development Entrepreneurship in collaboration with IAM Bangalore. So which of the above statements is are correct? So we have to choose the correct statement. So friends, the answer is let me tell you that the answer is second. That is it is implemented by Ministry of Skill Development uh, and Entrepreneurship in collaboration with Indian Institute so uh, Indian Institute of Management Bangalore so it, uh, so it aims to promote uh, the, the details are basically two year fellowship program to boost skill development at district level so uh, fellow fel uh, uh, research fellows that uh, that fall between the age of uh, 21 to 30 years they will be associated and it is designed under skills acquisition and knowledge awareness program uh, knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion so it is not under your uh, uh, this uh, uh, that that scheme that is uh, Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Yojana. It is basically covered under it is covered under Sankalp. So Sankalp is an also an initiative which aims at skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion. So it has an inbuilt uh, co uh, component of on ground practical in experience with district administration. So it aims to address the challenge of non-availability of personnel for implementation of various programs at national, state and district level. So uh, eligible fellows uh, between the age of 21 to 30 years age group uh, that have a graduation de uh, degree from a recognized university and be citizens of India, uh, they will be incorporated, uh, they will be uh, associated and then uh, this skill, uh, skill part is, will be targeted. So 
संकल्प इज बेसिकली सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप एंड इट इज एन आउटकम आउटकम फोकस स्कीम सो इट एम्स टू ट्रेन मोर मोर देन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव करोड़ यूथ इन मार्केट रेलिवेंट स्किल्स एंड बेसिकली इट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इज बेसिकली इट प्रोवाइड रिक्वायर्ड इम्पैटर्स टू नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट मिशन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सो इट इज अ लाइन टू फ्लैगशिप गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रोग्राम सच इज मेक इन इंडिया स्वच्छ स्वच्छता अभियान एंड एम्स एट डेवलपिंग ग्लोबली competitive workforce for domestic and overseas requirements so different aspects are there and then there is consider the following statements related to justice bn bn krishna committee report so we have to choose that which of these is correct first the report suggested data localization for protecting privacy of the citizens second it recommended setting up of the data protection authority so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct so let me tell you friends that this bn uh, uh, krishna committee or both of these statements are correct it, yes this uh, committee uh, uh, it was suggested comprehensive draft data protection bill so under which it suggested data localization for critical data of the citizens for uh, for in, for ensuring that there is no uh, we can say compromise on the privacy of the citizen and then also it recommended the uh, data protection authority and then uh, appellate body uh, above it solution is both one and two so more details are here so uh, it aims to protect uh, the uh, uh, personal data of the citizens and and directs that uh, the critical data of the citizens of india be processed in within the boundaries of india and uh, then uh, and then they, this also leaves it to the central government to to, to notify uh, the categories of personal data that will be considered as critical so mostly uh, that will be basically related to health data and financial data sexual orientation and then uh, your financial information and then other things also uh, so it aims to basically uh, then uh, p- p- uh, preventing uh, uh, the leakage of these caste related data tribe related religious beliefs of an individual so uh, it suggests that a penalty of rupees 15 crore or 4% of the total worldwide turnover of of any data collection entity for, for violating provisions so if any da- data collection entity violates the provision so rupees 15 crore uh, uh, penalty is proposed or 4% of the total worldwide turnover so if in case there is uh, failure to take prompt action on a data security breach can attract up to 2 rupees 5 crore or 2% of the turnover as a penalty so then it has also prescribed norms for data protection of the children uh, so stringent norms are there now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements related to lithium ion battery first the lithium lithium ion batteries contain less toxic metals than other type of batteries and hence they are generally considered as non hazardous waste second they are lightweight and have high energy density as compared to other type of batteries so which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so lithium ion batteries they are less less toxic as compared to these uh, uh, lead uh, lead acid batteries and they are also lightweight and they have high energy density and have high efficiency so solution is c so uh, nearly 100% efficient in both charging and discharging as compared to uh, lead acid batteries that have 70% efficiency so also it has a life cycle of 5000 times more or uh, uh, times or more compared to just 400 to 500 cycles in lead, uh, lead acid and also it maintains constant voltage throughout entire its discharge cycle as as uh, in contrast to these lead acid uh, acid batteries in which voltage decreases with its discharge cycle so it is also less hazardous hazardous and it can power any electrical application without the need of physical wires that is uh, by means wireless um, uh, which of the following now let's next question is which of the following international report are publi- reports are published by uh, world economic forum first global competitiveness report the second global gender gap report third future of jobs report or uh, world economic outlook report so friends let me tell you that the correct answer is c that is 1 2 3 uh, because fourth is not correct this world economic outlook report is released by international monetary fund not by not by world economic forum so the solution is c now let's move on to the next question next is gemini system seen in news is related to a anti missile system b digital air navigation c fisherman warning system d none of the above so this gemini system we have to choose that which of these state uh, which of these options is correct let me tell you friends that the answer is uh, fisherman warning system so this is gagan enabled uh, uh, mariners instrument for navigation and uh, then uh, there is something other uh, complete to this full form i am not able to recall that so basically it aims to notify uh, fishermen that uh, that engage in fishing uh, beyond uh, uh, by by beyond uh, the coast line uh, to to warn them of uh, of any uh, impending disaster or the possible uh, 
risks that they might face. So this is Gagan enabled Mariner's instrument for navigation and information device. So it basically uh, it is used for seamless and effective dissemination of emergency information and communication on disaster warnings, potential fishing zones and ocean states forecast to fishermen. So this will provide them relevant information and uh, it is uh, this it is registered by Gagan Satellite. Uh, so it has been developed by Indian National Center for Ocean and Information Services and Airports Authority of India. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to Pradhan Mantri Kisan Swan Nidhi. First, it is the direct income support uh, at the rate of rupees 6,000 per year to the farmers. Uh, second, the expenditure under the scheme is shared between centre and states. We have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is uh, first. That is, it is direct income support at the rate of rupees 6,000 per year per, to the farmers that have uh, uh, land holding below 2 hectares and uh, equal or below 2, two hectares. And this expenditure uh, uh, is uh, uh, solely borne by centre as of now. So the answer is only A. So it aims to uh, uh, the complete expenditure of this uh, 75,000 crore for the scheme will be borne by the union government in 2019-20. So it aims to meet multiple objectives and the, those objectives you can uh, check uh, in any editorial or you in the over internet. So discussing uh, them here obviously will lead to wastage of time and will stretch the video beyond its uh, genuine limit, uh, time limit. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to World Mental Health Day. First, it is observed on October October 10 every year. Second, the theme for this year is mental health promotion and suicide prevention. So which of the above statements is are correct? So let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. Yes, it is observed on October 10 every year and it, uh, the theme this year is mental health promotion and suicide prevention. So basically this uh, objective is to mobilize efforts in support of mental health and provides an opportunity for everyone to talk and discuss mental health issues and what more needs to be done. So it was first celebrated in 1992 at the initiative of World Federation of Mental Health, a global health organization with members and contacts in more than 150 countries. So now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, rising carbon dioxide levels can accelerate zinc deficiency in plants. Second, zinc deficiency causes diarrhea, growth retardation, loss of appetite and impaired immune function. So which of the above statements is are correct? So we have to choose uh, the correct statement. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. Uh, that uh, yes, carbon dioxide levels uh, can accelerate zinc deficiency in crops and this, uh, this uh, def deficiency in crops then uh, 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 moves up the uh, value chain, uh, food chain, sorry. And then it affect, affects uh, the immune system of the human beings and then causes diarrhea, growth retardation and loss of ap appetite. So both of these statements are correct. So this report is uh, released by basically uh, by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. So heading is inadequate zinc intake in India, past, present and future. So uh, this shows that uh, uh, the simple point which we can take away uh, from Main's point of view uh, in, from this uh, explanation is that uh, it is showing that how uh, the global warming will impact your uh, crops. So obviously uh, the global warming uh, is reported to have um, uh, a great, great deal of impacts on the crop. Uh, and because uh, it, it, it reduces their uh, essential nutrients in them and this is the this is a cause of concern. So national rates of inadequate zinc intake has increased from 17% to 25% between 1983 to 2012. So this uh, this uh, this uh, decrease in zinc uh, is this increase in zinc deficiency is uh, most more prominent in southern and northeastern states where the main staple crop is rice. So apart from rising CO2 emissions, changing diets and also aging population uh, are also factors responsible for increasing zinc deficiency. So uh, then uh, the, in urban areas, this zinc, zinc deficiency is more pronounced due to the uh, due to the intake of higher proportion of nutrient uh, poor fats and sugars in the diet. So zinc deficiency, uh, zinc plays an important role that is it boosts immune function, helps cell divide, cells divide and maintaining the sense of smell and taste and promote bone healing and also supports person's growth and development. So basically it shows that how global warming will uh, impact uh, the entire ecosystem, the entire earth, uh, its its uh, various ecological services in the coming days. So please, uh, so in that, in these, in the light of these facts, uh, uh, do ensure uh, that you do uh, uh, best your best part to uh, to arrest this uh, climate change that is happening. Now let's move on to the next question. Last question of the day. Last question of the day. Is spirit initiative seen in news is related to a mental health disorder, b biofuel production, c startup promotion, d none of the above. So friends, let me tell you that uh, the answer is a. Uh, that is mental health disorder. So uh, basically, uh, this has been. Uh, 
spirit initiative is basically targeted to address this mental health disorder and to prevent this society related issues so this uh, bro, let's look at uh, look at stats is the national mental health survey of 2016 found that 7.3 percent uh, of the the uh, uh, the, the, uh, the persons that are between 13 to 17 years um, uh, they are uh, they are suffering from mental disorders in india so they resort to self-harm and also suggest that suicide among adolescents is higher than any other age group so but global Global burden of disease study also shows that uh, uh, this uh, death rate has been highest uh, uh, among uh, among the 15 to 29 year olds, and it is highest in Karnataka, then Tripura, then Tamil Nadu, then Andhra Pradesh. So India's contribution is also increasing in suicide-related deaths uh, uh, leading to women. So in 2016, 36.6 percent of this uh, suicide, uh, these uh, 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 global south uh, suicide deaths of women, uh, they were basically from India. So so more or more information about this is uh, uh, here so spirit, spirit is an initiative that is suicide prevention and implement, implementation research initiative in india aims to reduce suicides among targeted adolescents and implement research based suicide interventions so they also aim to empower regional policy makers to integrate evidence generated from implemented research on suicide prevention and policy making so this is all about friends today's discussion so obviously i know that uh, you might be saying that I'm, i read too fast but that has been kept uh, uh, that has been done uh, keeping in mind the time limit that uh, the in which the video has to be made so friends uh, if you like this discussion if you like the mcqs if you like the uh, our video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends we also have a, a telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and this will also be provided in the description box so we have more than 13000 subscribers of uh, this public telegram channel so you are more than welcome to join this public te telegram channel if you want to remain in touch with the various updates that we do on our uh, channel and the various initiatives that we launch for the purpose of csc preparation so you can join this telegram channel the link of which uh, of it will also be provided in the description box so you can check the description box lastly if you have any doubts queries you can ask in the comment section and also you can uh, if you don't want to ask uh, um, uh, publicly then you can mail us at, at gyes21 at the gmail.com you can also contact us at 8986 so friends uh, uh, lastly if you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these mcqs then uh, then do ensure that you check the description box because subscription link is there uh, in the in the in the description uh, uh, description box uh, obviously there has been a minimum fee that has been kept for the purpose of pdfs and that is rupees 99 per month and that has been kept for the purpose of uh, our, our motivation so that we people can remain motivated to help you people so this is all about friends today's video do ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead